Hello? Anybody in there? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It does feel like forever. Happy New Year to you all. I am John Luke and this is John Luke Resells. Today's video, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of posting, show you what I've sold, catch up with you guys, talk about the future, see what you guys are doing and all of that good stuff. But yeah, I hope you're happy that I'm back. This is uh, Advent Calendar episode 4, 3. I'm only joking. That really didn't go well, did it? It didn't go well. But I was getting burnt out after three days. I don't know how Kieran and Sam did it. Smashed it there, guys. Big props to you guys. If you're not checked those guys out, they'll be linked down in the bottom. But yeah, I could not keep up for the life of me. Hope everyone had a really good Christmas and a really good New Year. Obviously now there's still really strict restrictions. Does that ever make sense? Strict restrictions. But 2021 hopefully will be the year of prosperity and good news come the end of it, hopefully. And um, yeah, we've really just got to take it by the scuff of Mac. Stay positive, stay calm, and just uh, get through it together. In terms of the New Year resolutions, the old cliche that there is, I have got a day a page diary. I know, what a big change, eh? But in the diary, literally got items listed, total items listed value, total sales, sales value kind of thing. Just to keep me in the mindset of, oh, I've listed 12 items today, I'll try and list 13 tomorrow. Or what I've picked up today, what I'm gonna list tomorrow kind of thing. I've got like a little review of the day, what I've done well, you know, what didn't go so well, what I've done and what I've not done. Hopefully this will get me more structured to my weeks and then I'll be a little bit more successful. Come Q4, I'll have a booming eBay shop, hopefully. But before Q4, we've got Q1, Q2 and Q3. We've got lots to come, lots of pickups to be had, lots of sales to be had, just gotta keep growing together. So before we do get into today's vlog, it's gonna be a bit of a vlog, bit all over the shop. We're gonna see if we can get anything on Facebook later. But uh, yeah, before we do get into that, leave me a comment down below. How was your Christmas? How was your new year? How bad, how good it was? And um, yeah, what is your kind of resolution? Maybe not resolution, but what do you wanna do a little bit different with this year in terms of your well-being, in terms of your business, anything like that? Do let me know down below. And as always guys, before I do pick my orders, hit that like button it helps the channel out massively hopefully this year it'd be nice to hit 4k or 5k but we'll take each one at a time obviously it did slow down last year i think we're on 3.2 now pretty much so yeah we'll see how we get on with that anyway but yeah hit that like button and we'll go to pick the orders so as you can see same shed new year so uh, pretty much all the same i have tied it up a little bit we've got it all in order in terms of the boxes our packaging and stuff like that um, but yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to pick today's orders and uh, crack on with it. I'll just show you my graphs, um, which I'm sure you'll love to see. So as you can see, that month, you can see, just look at it. That is what you call lazy, <laughs> lazy, lazy, lazy. Procrastination, not productive, and uh, yeah, just in a bad headspace. And then uh, new year, new me, look at the bars, we're going up, we're going up. Hopefully we'll be up here in a few weeks time by the day. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to really building on this again and uh, getting up to those 300, 400 pound days that we was once at uh, last year. So yeah, exciting times. But yeah, that is not what you want. Next slide, please. Okie dokie. So first sale is this Mario Kart Wii, as you can see there in the box. And we've got one unofficial wheel with that too. There we go. Nice and easy. That came in a Wii bundle and we did get 34.99 for that one. Following the Mario Kart, we did sell this Chikorita Pokemon playing card from 1999 uh, from Japan. And this is going to a subscriber. This is to Anthony. So, yeah, thanks for the purchase, Anthony. Appreciate that big time. And, yeah, hopefully this gets to you in one piece. I'm sure it will do. We always send our trading cards in sleeves and top loaders and then make sure they're well packaged so the buyer gets them in top-notch condition. Next up is just a random, random book that we've had listed forever. Um, we got £7.49 for it. It is literally a Russian jewellery book. Yeah, look at that. Lovely. I'm not sure, not sure if there's any pictures. There we go. Some pictures there. Beautiful stuff. We've got £7.49 for that. So, yeah, that's a bit of an L, to be honest. But good to see it go nonetheless. Following the Russian jewellery book, we did sell this little graphic novel that's on the top here. This is Knight Errant. Uh, issue one dark horse we did get 359 for that i think that was like 10 percent off in a little sale that i had on this actually came in the big star wars bundle that we got many months ago now um so yeah really happy with that obviously with that bundle we were a couple of hundred pound in profit so just the last little bits and bobs to go out of that one next sale is another babyliss 
hair clipper, obviously with the barbers being shut, these are flying off the shelves. We got $24.99 for that. After that, we did sell a Rochdale shirt. Pretty nice there. And we got $19.99 for that. We have got, I think it's Rafferty on the back there. So yeah, pretty cool. £20 on that. And I think the buyer is collecting that one. So can't complain with that. Next one is Sims 3 on the Wii. £7 and 19p for that one. And then following the Sims, we did sell a Charizard Evolution. So there's a Charmeleon, uh, a Charmander, and a Charizard in each of these. The same buyer bought five sets of them, I do believe. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So there's three cards in each sleeve. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen cards. And we got $39.95 for those. Pretty happy with those. These are literally from the big Vivid Voltage binge that we all had. Um, so yeah, just recouping a little bit of money back off of that. Straight back into the business, which is cool. Just make sure I've got to send these well, um, so they get there in one piece. Pretty cool. And the last trading card sale of the last few days is this Blastoise and Pit Plup GX. Pretty nice one there. And uh, I think we did pull this out of a random pack one day. And we got $9.99 all in for that one. Listed this one last night. Wii Sports on the Wii, of course. And we got $14.99 for that. Large letter. 80p or whatever it is. Happy days. And the final sale, we did sell a Wii bundle. It was a black Wii with one black controller. Didn't have the Motion Plus. Just included a couple of random games with it, which are in the box. And, um, yeah, happy days. We got $69.99 for that one. So it weren't a mega bundle. We weren't, you know, talking a couple of hundred or 120, 30, which you can get for some bundles. You get a nice board with it and a couple of good games. But, yeah, 70 quid. Cannot complain with that. We have got another one listed right there we got 64.99 we've got on that one it is a white bundle with a few games as well so that should go in the next couple of days but obviously black colorway boxed it will go a little bit faster so yeah i'm really happy about the sales over the last couple of days as i've only just started listing again over the last couple of days so it's all picking up again and um hopefully the good start of a positive month and a positive year and the best bit about today's sales is not too much packaging to do so that's kind of my forte so for any new resellers out there, anyone new to my videos, in terms of packaging, I use the Sealed Air D1 light jiffy bags for my large letters. So these will be used for my Sims 3 game, the trading cards, the Wii Sports. But for the graphic novel, it will still go as a large letter, but I do use a larger size. So obviously we've got the D1 bags here. We've got like the mega big bags there, which are, which are, like, which are massive. Um, but we do have these smaller ones down here. So the same company, Sealed Air F3 Gold, and then that'll fit the graphic novel in. I will put cardboard around it to keep it straight so it doesn't bend. But they're the two products I use for my large letters. And they are both linked down below. I think the um, the D1 bags, I think you get 100 for about 12 quid. So it works about 12p a bag. And I think quite similar for these, I think you get 50 for about the same price. So yeah, uh, they are linked down below. These are what I've been using for about four four years now i think nick nick hills linked them many years ago don't know if you're still using these ones but yeah they are my go-to jiffy bags shout out to zaheer by the way we have got the fuggler and the honky tonk man from himself we did win that in his giveaway late last year and we have got the hoodie as well i might show you that a little bit later on when i put the hoodie on i feel like i'm 10 times more productive i'm not sure if there's something in the material maybe something with the only cool stuff brand but I kind of do work harder with the hoodie on. So what I do for the trading cards, I put them in a sleeve in a top loader. Then I'll put them in a nice thick cardboard and then they'll go in a jiffy bag. The jiffy bag will be rolled up. So there's multiple layers of bubble wrap then. And then it is nice and secure in the post. Job done. For graphic novels or comics, I will do the same. I'll have a thin strip of cardboard on the back and then I'll slap one on the front as well. I do use the, the comic slips that we have down here with all the comics. And uh, basically this just lets me put a little bit of tape on them. Uh, if a bit of tape does go on them, we're not affecting the comic. It's just looking after it a little bit more. So now it's in cardboard sandwich, taped at the four sides to keep it in. And then that'll go straight inside the jiffy bag. As you can see there, fits in nicely with a little bit of room to pop over the top then we simply write on top what is in the parcel so i can put comic on the front and when it goes to printing my label i'll know what's inside the parcel just to reiterate these are the f3 sealed air and the other white ones are the d1 sealed airs that you can see there We've got six large letters all done there. Next up, we've got a few parcels. So we've got the Clippers, the Mario Kart, the book, and the Wii Sports. I did say the shirt is getting collected. That would normally go as a large letter with the Royal Mail stuff. 
With my hair clippers, all I've ever done is bubble wrap and straight into a mailing bag. Never boxed them up, never had a problem. So, yep, good stuff there. Nice and easy to pack. Love it, love it, love it. I do have all of my mailing bags down in this bag, so we'll see if we can get a nice little coloured one somewhere in here. Got a purple one. Happy days. Go straight with the jumper. There we have it. First one done. Nice and easy straight for Hermes. Next up, we'll do the big daft book. The good thing about Jiffy bags, you can get them in all kinds of sizes. We've got size K7 now. We got these off YLM John a good while ago now. As you can see, the book, which is pretty big, will fit straight in one of those. No questions asked. 30 seconds later, job's a good one. Next up is Mario Kart Wii. We have just padded out the bottom of the box with some recycled paper. We'll put one little layer of bubble wrap over the two of those. And in there you go, nice and easy. As you can see, that's all nice and cosy in there. So we'll just fill out the little space and get it shut. Last but not least is our Nintendo Wii, which fit in this box absolutely perfectly. That is one for Ricky Lee that I just slid in perfectly. So, happy days. Just like that, you're straight on to printing your parcels off. So literally that took me 20 minutes tops uh, to do that. So what I do for my large letters and stuff, so I'll go straight on eBay and then I'll select which parcels I'm sending as large letters. So we've got the Wii Sports, we've got the Pokemon card, we've got the other Pokemon cards, we've got the Sims 3. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the graphic novel, we've got the other Pokemon card and then that is that, I think, yeah. I think so it should be six one two three four five six yeah it's six so we go on this or oh, we don't we go on this we go print postage or invoice and then we'll press continue like so then it'll come up with the little bit where you put your weights and like what service you're using so then what you'll do i'm just going to hide the the addresses you'll literally just put what they weigh and then a large letter or letter whatever you want to use there small parcel etc etc so we'll go Wii Sports, we'll turn on the scales, which should be linked down below as well. Put that on there. And then it's 48 grams as a large letter. I do have a large letter ruler over there, which you can see there, where you can test out if it's a large letter. But I pretty much know that all these are going to be large letters. So what was that? That was 48 grams. It was. And it comes up with your price, 96 pence to send your Wii Sports. So the total postage cost for those six parcels was £8.30p. I'll just review purchase and then I'll be able to print them off, stick them on and drop them off. Obviously, these little bits of the video won't apply to everyone. I know some people will know what they're doing with the parcels, but a lot of people who do watch kind of want to know what I do for every single process and then um, they'll be able to do that same thing. So for large letters, go to Royal Mail. For small parcels and above, Hermes parcel to go, etc, etc. We'll get onto that in a moment. Uh, but yeah, just getting back down to basics a little bit for the new viewers. All right, so the Nintendo Wii, 4.2 kilograms. So what we'll do, we'll go on to the boxed Nintendo Wii. We can find the change size bit. We'll go on custom under one meter. We'll put, as you can see there, 4.2 kilograms. And then we press save there. And then we should, let me choose a service. Just don't want to show the certain address which is hovering and then we will choose hermes parcel shop four pounds and 90p happy days uh we've already done the baby list two pound 25 small parcel 0 0.7 gram kilograms should i say and then we've got a couple more to do and for the four bigger parcels we paid a total of 16 pounds 70p for the delivery on hermes which isn't fantastic we never protect against a parcel it's never really worth it for what you pay over the year um, you will not save money protecting every single parcel unless it's a really expensive one that you need to make sure that it's um that it gets there safely and you get covered on it if it's a few hundred pounds i would cover it but anything less rather not so spanning the works everybody customs declaration brexit season we're all we're only going to guernsey but um it prints out like that on a 4b6 so that's fantastic isn't it um let's see what we can do with that not ideal but it's only going to guernsey come on so basically guys i'm gonna have to crop this and crop the label and pop this in the parcel which is a bit of annoyance when you download it from ebay they put them on the same sheet not in a 4x6 format that is fantastic so for a customs form i still print them on the sticky label just makes sense 
put in the sender's name, etc. Address code, sale of goods, etc. etc. Sign it, blah blah blah. What a load of rubbish. Got to be done. Uh, and then we're gonna have to undo whichever package it is and put that in. I didn't even realise to be honest. It merely notified me on the uh, on the eBay when I was printing the label. But it is what it is. In case you was wondering, it was a Zebra GK420. Do do use as my label printer. That is linked down below. Use your 4x6 labels, which you can see over there. Nice and easy to use. Uh, but apart from that, that's as good as you get, really. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to drop these parcels off. Post box and the Hermes parcel shop. Then I'll get back here. I'll have a quick chat before I end today's video. All right, guys, I'm back now. Uh, I know it's not been the most interesting video today, but obviously we can't do too much, obviously, with the new restrictions and stuff. I was planning on doing quite a few charity shop hunting videos to kick off the year, and that plan went straight out the window. I was going to implement some gym stuff that I'm getting into and stuff like that and properly vlog the days, so I can't really go into the gym now and do that, um, which is a bit of a shame, but we move, we get on with it. Um, so, yeah, basically just today, catching up with you guys, seeing how you guys are. Doing a few little sales roundup, stuff like that. Sent off some parcels. I'm going to do some listing later. I won't include it in the video. Uh, it's just a few bits of already photographed that I'm going to get up later today. Uh, it's Wednesday as well, so it's the Manchester Derby later today. So, fingers crossed for the Blue Boys later. I know there's a few Reds that I subscribed to myself. So, this will be out, obviously, after the game. I hope it was a good result for us. But if it wasn't a good result for us, you can give me as much stick as you want. So I'm going to close out the video asking you guys a few questions and seeing how you guys are, you know, adapting to the new restrictions and stuff. So obviously with our sourcing, what are you going to be doing for sourcing? Can't go to the charity shops, can't go to the boot sales, you can't go into the auction houses, anything like that. So you've got your other options, you can use your Facebook marketplace safely, Gumtree safely. Uh, you've got your online auctions that you can get delivered to your home. You can get boxes. I know Jessica's are doing some boxes uh, in the Happy Days Resellers group. Got some uh, mystery boxes for the resellers with some good profit in. There is a link down below for the Facebook group if you did want to get involved with any of that stuff. But yeah, just trying to brainstorm where you guys are getting your stock from at the minute and um, how you adapt into the situation. Obviously, it's a little bit tougher now. We can't even go into the charity shops, the boot sales and do all your normal bits and bobs. You can do some sourcing online, obviously your vintage clothing wholesalers and stuff like that. Just seeing what you guys see as an option to source. Obviously, there's different ways that you can still source at the moment. Obviously, sourcing is a bit different now, so it will be tougher for some other people who wouldn't normally source in these natural ways. Uh, whereas some people... We'll all be, always be sourcing on Facebook, Gumtree, and all the online uh, avenues. So, yeah, just seeing what you guys are doing with the sourcing. Obviously, the selling is pretty much the same. Everyone's in lockdown. Your wee bundles, your gaming stuff will, you know, be going through the roof again. Uh, so, yeah, always look out for that good stuff. Last but not least, 2020 it was a bit of a terrible year. I would swear there, but we've got to keep the ad revenue uh, alive, haven't we? Um, but, yeah, what would you say... If anything, what was the best part of 2020 for you? One little thing that you can take from 2020, the worst year in existence. What is one thing you guys can take away from that year? If you are still watching, if you comment down below, I know you've watched right till the end that way. I just want to say a big thank you for tuning in. Also, I've had you know good few messages on Instagram, seeing how I am, uh, what's going on with me and stuff like that. And um, yeah, just messaging, excited about a new video because I did put a little video on Instagram saying might be recording a video so i appreciate everyone's support it means a lot so we're going to close out the video here today i hope you all did enjoy it there is some videos one side of me i'm not even going to do it i think they're over there they pretty much i think they're over there um the camera's flipped so it, it, they're all they're not they're over there but let me know down below what videos you would like to see during the lockdown whatever it may be do let me know and uh, there is some videos over that side i appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in today have a great start to your year, stay positive, stay happy, and um, I'll see you very, very soon. Peace out.